Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, trapezoid is 486 centimeter square. And moreover, this angle A, D, C is 45 degrees, whereas this uh, side length A, B equal to this side length B, C. Now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are going to calculate the perimeter of this uh, trapezoid, in other words, uh, we are going to calculate the length of all this uh, boundary. And here's our next step. Uh, since we know that these two side lengths are equal in length, let me call this side length uh, lowercase a, then this side length is going to be lowercase a as well. And now here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point uh, C onto this uh, line uh, AD. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram where we can see that this uh, CE is this uh, perpendicular line. And now we can see that A, B, C, E is this is a square. So that means this side length is lowercase a and this side length is lowercase a as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle C, E, D. We can see that this is a right uh, triangle since this angle is uh, 90 degrees. And we know that this angle is 45 degrees and the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle CED is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle equals to this angle. Therefore this side length uh, CE is going to be equal to this side length uh, DE. And we know that this side length is A so therefore this side length has got to be A as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square A, B, C, E. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equals to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, our side length uh, is A. So therefore, the area of this square A, B, C, E, let me go ahead and represent by a sub 1 is going to be A square. Just keep in your mind that the area of this uh, square is A sub 1. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle CED. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base uh, times a height. And in our case, our this uh, triangle is a right triangle. Our height uh, is uh, a and our base is A as well. So the area of this triangle CED I'm going to represent it by A sub 2. So that means this area is going to be A sub 2 is going to be equal to a half time our base is A and our height is A as well. So therefore our A sub 2 simply turns out to be A square divided by 2. So therefore the total area of this uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual areas A sub 1 plus A sub 2. Therefore area of this trapezoid is going to be simply A sub 1 plus uh, A sub 2. And now we know that our uh, area of the trapezoid has been given to us as 486. So let me go ahead and replace this area of the trapezoid by 486 equals to our A sub 1 is A square plus our A sub 2 is A square divided by 2. And we could have used this area of a trapezoid formula to calculate the area. So the area of a trapezoid formula is H times A plus B divided by 2. And now let's focus on the right hand side uh, this part and here I have simplified this one and it turns out to be 3A square divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by this. So therefore we can write uh, 3A square 
divided by 2 equals to 486. Now we are going to solve for A. So therefore, let me go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by its reciprocal 2 third on this side and 2 third on this side as well. And we can see that we got over here this 2 and 2 is gone, 3 and 3 is gone. So therefore, A square turns out to be, if we simplify the right hand side, this turns out to be 300 and 24. Now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our this uh, square and square root undo each other. So a value turns out to be positive 18 centimeter. So thus our this uh, a value the side length uh, turns out to be 18 centimeter. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate this uh, side length uh, CD. And we know that this is our right triangle CED. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg our side C. I'm going to call this uh, A and this side uh, B. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is A. So A square b in our case is a once again so it's going to be a square equal to c square so if we simplify c square turns out to be 2a square let's go ahead and undo this uh, square on uh, both uh, sides this is square and square root is gone so our c value turns out to be a times uh, square root of uh, 2 so therefore our this side c turns out to be simply a times a square root of a 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this uh, trapezoid. We know our this side length is a. This is a. This is a times square root of 2. And this side length, uh, if we combine these a and a, that is going to give us uh, 2a. So the perimeter is going to be equal to, let's go ahead and add all these side lengths. So this is a plus a plus 2a plus this side length a times square root of 2. So if we add all these side lengths, perimeter is going to be 4a plus a times square root of 2. Or we can simply write this thing p equals to if we factor out a outside 4 plus square root of 2. Now we know that our a value is 18 centimeter so I'm going to replace this a by 18 over here. So therefore the perimeter of this trapezoid turns out to be 18 times 4 plus square root of 2. And if we simplify furthermore, perimeter is approximately equal to 97.46 centimeter. And here's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.